Okay, so this is for anyone who's setting to become an interpreter. Um, just throwing out this question because I was in the situation and um, I don't know, I want to know what anyone thinks about it or what I should or should not have done. Um, this was in the newspaper, so at this point I don't think it's going to break confidentiality because it was in the newspaper. So I was, um, I was interpreting for this, um, this, this football team. Uh, most of the kids were hearing. There are two deaf kids and two deaf coaches. The head coach is deaf, so that was a big thing. Um, so I'm interpreting for them. The first day, I started noticing that the kids were, uh, they were coming up to me asking me for help with plays and snapping their helmets and stuff like that or taking them to the bathroom. And these kids are about seven or eight. And obviously, that's not the role that I play. So I spoke with the coaches um, and I said, hey, do you mind if I explain to the kids that like I'm not their coach, I'm nothing but the interpreter. And they said, yeah, that's fine. So um, during the water break, I sat them down and I, I said, like, look, I'm not your coach, I'm just the interpreter, I'm just your head coach's voice, basically. And um, it, that helped for like maybe two practices and then they went right back to treating, or at least calling me coach. <laughs> they, um, they, don't, they don't ask me to fix their helmets or ask them about plays or anything. And if they do, I just head them in the direction of of their actual coaches, but one of the big things that happened was um, I was uh, interpreting for one of their their uh, scrimmages like two days ago now, and now even the coaches are saying go to Coach Aaron. So I was looking through the Code of Professional Conduct, and I'm trying to figure out what is the most appropriate way to react because I I don't want to be a douche and go over and over, repeat myself over and over saying I'm not your coach because then that sounds kind of aggressive and unnecessary and really isn't that big of a deal. At the same time, I know that I'm supposed to play a particular role and that's the interpreter. The decision I made was just let it go. Um, if the kids respond to me in their mind as coach and they're going to listen and behave and, and you know follow all the rules, then you know whether they call me coach or interpreter doesn't really matter. Um, so I left that there. So I want to know what you guys think of, of that decision or maybe what could have been the better decision if there was a better decision. And the other thing that happened was, um, I want to say that's something to do with uh, so much stuff, uh, something to do with professionalism or, or, uh, professionalism or conduct. One of the two, uh, Basically, it's, it's, it's involving an interpreting of culture. So we're, I'm at the practice, and um, uh, one of the kids that, was, that, that plays is deaf. So the coach, one of the, uh, the hearing coaches, was trying to get his attention and trying to say something to him. Um, and it was something that didn't need to be interpreted. It was literally like pointing somewhere. And the kid, the, the kid who was deaf, did the, he just put his finger up like, wait a minute, and then he walked the other way to his dad. So, if you watch this and you've never been in sports or you've never been on a sports team when you were a kid, you just be clear, that's not something you do. Um, and that coach, like, he looked pretty angry, but he could he didn't want to yell at the kid because he, he wasn't sure if that'd be appropriate or not. But, um, yes, and then from what I've seen, I'm no professional on deaf culture, but from what I've seen, just saying a minute is, is a pro perfectly appropriate. So to me, that's a that's a little bit of miscommunication culturally. But I wasn't sure if it was appropriate for me to go up to him and say, like, look, in deaf culture, because I didn't want to speak for deaf people, but from what I've seen in deaf culture, that's normal. He doesn't understand that that is incredibly disrespectful for a coach to do that. Um, and I didn't want to go up to the kid and say, hey, don't do that, because I'm still trying to figure out what is my role, what would be appropriate. The thing I actually did was I let it. I let it go. I didn't say anything. Um, I figured it would be better for for me to just stay out of it. And if that coach that wants to say something to either the kid or the head coach, then I'll interpret for it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that was the right decision or not because this is a kid, and there's a lot of um, miscommunication in general between the the hearing coaches and the deaf coaches. So. You know, those are the two um, issues I was having. If you have any opinions on that, let me know.